So let's talk about clients. So you go here, you go to all clients. Now keep in mind, what you're looking at really is they started out as a contact member under here, under the contacts list. And when they turn into a client, there's that little box that you click that says they're now a client. And when you do that, now when you go to clients, this is where they appear under the client list. The reason we do that is because you can only open a case or a matter against a client. You can't do that against a contact. So it's a little safeguard just to make sure that you've qualified them and that they've done everything they need to do to be a client first. And so when you want to see your clients, you come here. Um, if you want to add someone straight in as a client, you can, you can do that by clicking this button and filling out the information. That'll add them straight in. And once you have a client, here is an existing client here, Mike Crossan. And so you can go, you click on their name, it shows you their profile, all their details, anything you want to see. And then when you click on cases, it also shows you any cases that you currently have open with them. And so if you wanted to add a new case or new matter, you just click this and continue from there. Or if they already have one existing and you want to go straight into the case, you can click on it and go to the case from here. We'll actually talk about cases in the cases tutorial. Back on the clients, if you need to edit them, you just go over here and you click on this and you can edit their information. Likewise, if you need to search for any information about a client, you can click, I'm sorry, you can type in anything that you want there. You hit search and it searches all the fields of the profile so that if you'd written something, you know, whether it's about the company they work at, their address, whatever, you can pull them up by any of those searchable fields as well. So that concludes the clients.